All right, guys, day number 27 on the 30-day kettlebell program. You got some thrusters today with two kettlebells. If you only have one, totally fine. I'm just gonna keep it on one side, but if you do have two, we're gonna have those kettlebells in the front rack. Hitting our kettlebell thrusters. Today, we are teaming up our thrusters with pull-ups, so hopefully you do have a pull-up bar. You have access to that pull-up bar. If you don't have access to the pull-up bar, the scale today is gonna be a 400 meter run. So make sure you have a 400 meter run mapped out. You can use a, maybe like an app on your phone to measure out the 400 meters, or you can, hopefully you don't have to walk it. <laughs> That'd be a long time, but part of your warm-up. Um, after that first section with your thrusters and your run or your pull-up, depending on what you have, you gonna be doing a little accessory bodybuilding stuff. So you have floor press on the ground. We went over this in workout number one. So you gonna be laying down, doing your bench press on the ground, making sure that elbow does not smash the ground teaming up the floor press with a bent over row we're going to have that nice hinge and you're going to be pulling that kettlebell in and getting that lat as tight as you possibly can like so hinged over So even if your weight's not super heavy for you, it's not super challenging, if you focus on your lat, getting as tight as absolutely possible, coming up and really engaging that lat, you can make the kettlebell heavier. You can also control the descent and make it a little bit slower on the way down, and that'll give you a little bit more of a pump in there as well, a little bit more bodybuilding effect. So those are all the movements that we need for today's workout. Hope you guys like it.